Hi folks, welcome back to the shop. Today I want to talk about this new, new tool from Klein. It's the model number 3230HD. Now they're calling it the 20-in-1 impact driver set. You can see here that they have uh, a socket a set here that can be attached to your impact. I'll show you that in a minute. And they also have a bunch of uh, bits in here. So it's really a combination of two tools that a lot of us have seen before, right? Uh, this is a it's a combination of the 7-in-1 impact flip socket set that they came out with some time ago. Now this one just happens to have the handle. You could buy just this, this socket set here for your impact. And they show here, yeah, they show that it has that capability. Anyway, it's a combination of this and the 14-in-1 screwdriver that I don't have, but I have done a review on it and uh, had some problems with it initially right out of the box. So they now have combined, I think rightfully so, those two tools into this 20-in-1 uh, driver set. So it's uh, uh, pretty nice. Now this is available at Lowe's, I think potentially exclusively at Lowe's. I'll have a link in the description, uh, but this uh, item is, uh, you know, if you haven't heard, Lowe's is now selling Klein tools, Home Depot is not. Uh, so they've got really nice uh, uh, Klein section uh, near the pro desk at Lowe's. Uh, and don't forget about Home Depot because Home Depot is offering a lot of sales prices on Klein tools since they're not gonna be carrying Klein tools at uh, Home Depot anymore. So let's look at this tool real quick and, and see what some of the differences are. I've already cut it open here. We can pop out the uh, handle, pop out the bit set, and let's see how this works. So we pull this sleeve in, or collar in, and then there you go. There's, there's the idea that you have this complete loadout with you at all times. You can drive your bits here. Uh, there's the bit storage in the handle. Quite a selection of bits in the tool. Uh, but handle is big. I would say it's not overly bulky. There's a 21 adjust impact so they've updated the handle to reflect this uh, this new offering so uh, I think it's a pretty good value it saves you some money over buying the other two tools you're getting a lot of bang for your buck here right now you know today's pricing it's about you know $39 uh, but you know it's notice it holds a bit here at the end or quarter inch bit holder we just look at it here real quick. We've covered this before, but if I pull this back, it clicks into another position that's just for driving uh, quarter inch uh, screws. And you can see the magnet in there, but that's the idea is that you would click this up and you can see it's laser etched in here that it has the um, screwdriver head there. It's to indicate that in that position, it's for driving quarter inch or uh, quarter hex bits uh, that are typically one inch in length. That's what these are. Um, so you can you know pull your bit out Go to the handle. Here's a Phillips size number three. Pop that in. All the bits are, are laser etched. You can see that here in the handle. I'll show you here real quick. You can see all the bits are stamped with the type of bit in the uh, on the bit itself. So they're all labeled. There's like T15 Torx, for example. T20 Torx. See 316 over here, it's upside down, but you can see it there. So all of it's stamped, nice uh, bit loadout. So you could just switch out your bits there, uh, whatever you need to use. If you uh, take the uh, bits off, now I noticed on this that when you look at Lowe's website, they show a different bit loadout. They show, they show this with 9 16 and this 11 30 seconds isn't here. And I went, when I was in the store, I noticed that they, they have it in the store right here, what they show in the marketing on Lolo's website. Okay. And you'll notice the difference here. Uh, you've got, you know, nine sixteenths uh, uh, in this loadout here, nine sixteenths, but you don't have the 11 30 seconds. So they've swapped those two, right? So they give you a nine sixteenths down here and they removed the 11 30 seconds bit in this loadout. And for whatever reason, they show this tool on the Lowe's website with this bit loadout. So maybe it's coming soon. Maybe they're gonna update this tool with this loadout, I don't know. Uh, this one you can see is uh, part number 32. Let me get that in here where you can see it. 32933G, okay, seven and one impact flip socket set. Uh, and as I said, this is kind of where they sell it on its own, not in this, this is with the handle, the seven one impact with the handle here. But notice it's got the different loadout, 9 16th bit, right? 9 16 bit is in here but it doesn't have the 11 30 seconds. Uh, so that's, that's the swap they've made there in that, that set. So if that's something that uh, uh, would help you or is a concern for you, you can, you can buy this and, and get that load out. In fact, it might be, you might be better off buying this in the 1401 screwdriver if you really want 
you know, this makeup. So if you haven't seen this before, I mean, of course, it's also designed to go into your impact, right? Impact rated. That's why they have the, uh, the black uh, oxide finish on the bits. Some of the other items I wanted to look at here were, you know, how adjustable is this? So if we take these bits off, just have the shank here, we put that in our screwdriver. You can see the length is adjustable. Pull the collar in, go down to the next notch. In fact, it can go all the way down to that length. So you can shorten up the handle for your screwdriver or your quarter inch and your 5 16 uh, uh, nut driver. So you have that capability. Uh, so nice that you can shorten up the handle. Yeah, that's, that's a nice feature there if, you're, if, you, if you need to get into tighter places. Of course, you do have to remove the other bits to do it, but you have, it does have that, that adjustable feature. Uh, handle is uh, labeled as I think the, uh, the other products are, you know, 32303. Yeah, and I think they just added HD to the, the part number. When you look at the package, it says 32303 HD. I believe that's the major change there versus uh, just having the uh, 32303. So that's how they reference that. Uh, this driver has, uh, you can see the part number on here is 32907. If you're looking for, you know, doing a job where you need to have everything in your hand and, 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 and pack really light or load out really light, uh, this, I think, is a, a good tool to go with and to have uh, at hand. Now, let's compare some of the components of this uh, new client tool to the previous uh, 7 in 1 impact lip socket with handle. Let's compare the, the, uh, the actual 7 in 1 impact. And I'm going to pull these sockets off. Oops. So you can see they have the same part number. 32907 on both, but the newer one has J5 labeled on it and laser etched and the other one is H8. So there is a little difference in the uh, the numbers, but otherwise they look identical except for if we just look at the tips here. Let's look at the magnets on these two. You can see the newer one has this sort of gold ring for the for the magnet, potentially a different retention method, I think, than the, uh, the original. Now, some people had complained that uh, this original one here, this seven one flip, all right, that this one had an issue with uh, the magnet falling out here on the end, okay, because it is a magnetized screwdriver. Uh, so perhaps they've made some improvements here on the new one with this gold ring on there. Perhaps it uh, doesn't have that same problem. Maybe they've remedied that. They probably have, uh, you know, who knows. But uh, anyway, that's one difference there too. So now if you're not familiar, let me show you how these uh, flip sockets work. Now, of course you can, you know, change out the bits as I've shown from the carousel earlier. Uh, but if you want to use the sockets, you take out the bit uh, and you pull this bit down a click. Okay, you take a quarter inch screw, for example, and you can see the magnet retains the screw very well and you can drive that screw, right? And let's say now you want to go to 5 16 where you pull off the socket, this flip socket, okay, flip it around, click it back on, I grab a 516 screw. See it pops right in there. Now we're turning a 516 screw. Held well in there by the magnet. And all of these um, sockets work the same way, right? Whether you're doing the 11 seconds, uh, the 3 8 7 16 or half inch, same concept. They all will be flipped around. So take your screw off, you know, take off this end socket, remove it from the handle. Let's see if you want to go with a half inch. Pop the half inch on the end. You know, pick your length there, and now you're driving a half inch uh, hex. So that's how that works. Now, one of the things I've experienced with this Klein Tools flip socket set uh, is that if you're on a ladder, and let's say you're driving a screw, and you put this in the hole of the ladder, your, your impact to try to uh, you know rest it there for a while, or keep it there while while you're doing something, and you pull it back out that sometimes that this can get caught at the top of the ladder or on anything you're working on where it can uh, get caught and knock the socket off, right? But if you look at the Malco, put the Malco in there, say you're trying to drive the same screw, well, and you, some object comes in contact with the Malco, but because of this concave edge here at the end, that when you pull this drill out, it doesn't knock the socket off. So uh, it's one advantage to the Malco bit uh, over the uh, Klein. Now, one of the things I noticed on this 21 
uh, impact driver. And this is one of the things that failed on the 14 and one climb that I've tried and have on this uh, video on this channel for some time ago. You'll notice right here that in the carousel, there is a, the, the, the backstop here is part of the carousel where these bits stop. So when you put these, these bits in, they come to rest here. And when you shut the handle, you know, the, the bit would fall into the handle. It's what happened to me on the other driver. Um, if you didn't have this backstop right here. Okay. They've uh, now it's part of the carousel, this, this whole design. So, um, you, you sh I don't think you're going to have that problem anymore. Right. But in the past they had a piece of uh, plastic that was the same color as this yellow part of the handle in here as a backstop. And in my case, it fell inside the handle. But as I've said here, and I'm trying to illustrate here that this whole black carousel they have holding the bits that it is now, you know, this backstop is integrated into the carousel. So I don't think uh, this tool will have the problem that I had with the 14 and one uh, on this channel. So there you have it folks, just a quick look at the Klein tools, 32, 303 HD, 20 and one uh, impact driver set. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, was this a tool that'll help you? Is it something you'd like to purchase? What's your ex uh, experience been with the 7-in-1 uh, tool over here or the 14-in-1? Uh, what do you think? I think, to me, it looks like a winner from Klein. I think it's going to be really popular. Uh, I think it's great that they've released it now and made improvements to the tool. You can see the subtle improvements uh, that they've made based on feedback from users, whether it be uh, the, that improvement I show here on the, uh, on the carousel backstop or, you know, the improved magnet here on the tip. Uh, so it looks like they're, they're, they're making improvements in this tool. Tool is made in Taiwan. I do prefer USA made Klein tools. I like their Lyman's pliers and so on. I, I would, uh, I love if this was made in the USA, but I, you know, realize that requires a lot of uh, probably some changes, of course, in tooling and the manufacturing here in the States. But anyhow, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, please remember to uh, like and subscribe. All those actions help me continue to bring content to you and I'll see you in the next video.